Monday morning. It's a wee bit frosty today, but it's dry, which is the main thing. It's a bit too cold to put any mixes on yet, so I'm gonna wait till it warms up before we do that. There's a little bit more brickwork and block work to do behind me taking a wall through and then forming the steps. So we'll do that in a bit. Also the priority in this first part of the week is to get the backs of the walls tanked, put some land drains behind there, seal all the face of the wall so it's ready for tiling. And then all that area down at the top can be backfilled and it'll just make the whole area a lot easier to work on. And then once we've done that, we're gonna be moving around to the other side of the garden and flagging one of the patios by the house. And once that's completed, we'll then be able to move a lot of the garden furniture onto that. So that's the plan of attack. Let's go. Jacob's just building up this wall here. This is just to hold the soil in because that's going to be a bed. Stop it spreading out underneath the decking because this is going to be a decked area. So it's just like a retainer wall for the planter. On this bit, that's been had the primer on, ready to be tanked. And then this wall here, which is going to be behind the hot tub, retaining where the hot tub is, doesn't really need tanking. But what we're doing is putting a render on the back, a waterproof render mix. So Ray's just doing that now. So it's all solid. So around this side of the garden, Craig has been setting out for this raised patio. So we squared everything up off the house. He's put this line in here and then another run down there. And he's just putting these blocks in. They're gonna be cladded with the same porcelain and then we're gonna have the step with a downstand on that. And then there's going to be another intermediate step before you step down onto the lawn. So we squared everything up and then he's just putting this last running now. And then this can be filled with stone then. A goes in and flagged.
Joe, Joe.
searching for glory I took out an old pen Yes, good day. Yesterday we got concrete pads in for the pavilion, concreted this section here, tanked the back of the walls. Uh, so today we're going to be moving on to the front, stoning that area up. We got the echoes in as well yesterday. And then in the afternoon, we're going to be putting the landing in behind this wall, backfilling it with pea gravel. And then tomorrow, hopefully, we'll be doing some paving in that front area. Bit chilly again, but it's not too bad. We'll get started. bit of an issue that we've had with the copings and steps when we've had them delivered so we've ordered bespoke copings to go on all the steps all the walls both front and back and we've ordered them so it's the flag with a 40 mil down down stand so what they do basically is cut them on a mitre and bond them together and then that's your coping so it makes it gives it the illusion of a thicker unit than it is so instead of 20 mil you see 40 mil so it just looks chunkier and better for steps and copings so we've ordered them well the client has we told them what we needed and the company who's manufactured them what they've done is they've cut them to the angle but they haven't not they haven't joined them together they get resin together and clamped and then finished polished up so this is what we've got this is how they've been delivered we've got a load of these so they're all cut, ready to go, but they're not fixed together. That's how they should have been. And resin together like that, ready to go. Every time we've ordered them off the likes of Marshalls or London Stone, that's how they come. It's just unheard of to come like that, so that caught us out. So we've had to organise for someone to come and pick them up with an off, like an off-road forklift and take them on a wagon, take them to get done, and then we'll get them back. So it's something we've had to work around and sort out, but we've done it now. But yeah, in all my years, never seen anything turn up like that because you just can't use them, not fit for purpose. But we'll sort it. Here he is coming to get the pallets and take them away. Yes, lads. Our man Sam coming to save the day. The green one isn't bad either. <laughs> What 
what a guy while he's here he's even bringing a few packs of flags in for us easy work right ready to start flagging this bit we've got all our lines set up so the key points we're trying to hit are on this side we want we want to hit the, the sill there the corner of the sill come off square and then down this side we want to be hitting it's determined by this bottom step because the bottom step is coming off the corner of the house there so we've dummy these in how it's gonna go so that's the line we want to hit ideally we would have put these steps in now at this stage but because we haven't got them they've been sent away to, to, to be bonded we've got to just set the lines up where they're gonna finish
All the land drain is filled with stone. Just gonna put the terran membranes on, and then Craig is gonna be digging this area out and a lot of it. While the good soil will be going back behind the wall here and the rest of it will be taken somewhere else today. And then um, we might use some of that on the beds if it's any good. We're gonna be carrying on with the flagging round by the house and try and get most of that section down. Then we're on the pub. Caught behind the Venetian blinds Had to reach for the city lines and This ain't where I belong Ain't looking me more than what I become I've been running these Looking for something Digging deep Since nine and nine What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all along. I think it's time for me to go burn all bridges. All I know, I got lost along the way. Same dance again, boys. <laughs> Something free, baby. Yes, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Now all the drains are in around the back of the wall. We're just excavating this area, which is going to be artificial grass. And we're backfilling down there. It'll be a lot easier to work on then. Put your hand. 
So the mix we're laying on is a moist mix, a little bit wetter than semi-dry, so it's got a bit of give in it. And Kev is the master of them. It's like the uh, KFC with the gravy. You never quite know the recipe, like you won't, you won't even tell us. So his little secret to the Kev. It's the gravy. <laughs> just the end of week four so this week we've done all we can in this area so filled in all these steps we've tanked the back put land drains in and we've sealed the face of the walls as well so they're ready for tiling so there's literally nothing else we can do in here until we've spoken with the tilers and liaise with them on the laying patterns we might be able to put the echoes in uh, brick slots going around next week but apart from that Gotta let the electricians put their wiring in, which they've started doing. 
and then we'll have to come back on this. So we've got the pads in as well for the uh, pavilion. Put everything backfill there, and then we've also, as you've seen, made a start around the front, which we'll go and have a little look at now. So yeah, here, as you can see, this patio is nearly laid. Uh, just got a few cuts to do up there at the building, and then when we get the the steps, we'll be able to put them on too. But uh, next week, something we can do while we're waiting for them is forming the second step, which is the top level, intermediate step, and then the lawn. So we can put the block in and concrete that ready for when we get the steps. But that's it for now. It's been a good week, good weather. Let's go for a bevy. Cheers, lads. Cheers. 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 Happy Christmas. Stroke, right? Is Artie the main man? I know where, I know where, you know where you get the comfort from the dog. You say, I know how to do it. They come pals forever. You set my soul on fire.